What is going on guys and girls? Welcome back to CK2 Holy Fury and King Hakon Magnuson, the priest hater as he's known because we once fought our rival who um, who happens to be a bishop. Even though he is a heretic and a wicked priest that still somehow uh, made us be the bad guy. Um, I think we've lost the un unholy duel or whatever modifier that, that was called. Um, but yeah, we still keep the nickname unfortunately. We are right now in a war against Obutrithia, and we're trying to make them our tributary, and I'm not quite sure what's going to happen with Denmark and Sweden. If they will stay Obutrithia's subjects, if they will become our subjects or independent, I guess we'll have to find out. We just built two fortresses um, at the end of the last episode here, and um, that means we're no longer taking any attrition. Now, that would have been such a good thing to do once, uh, or when we... Uh, declared the war on, on Cola here, that would have helped tremendously, but at least I'm doing it now. And I've also realized that just now, uh, that must have happened at the very end of the last episode, but yeah, there is a Swedish rebellion. Now, I don't really think that uh, concerns us too much, personally. Uh, I think it might actually be good for us, because that will distract the Swedish troops, perhaps even the Danish and Obertrithian troops, who knows, and we can just siege away here uh, without being bothered by uh, by the enemy troops. So we have taken one more city, which means the ticking war score is no longer in favor of uh, High Chief Coleman. That's really good. And our nephew, wait, what? Duke Walthoff. Someone tried to eliminate him. Uh, assassinate him, apparently. This dude. Count Morka of Dorset. Uh, where's Dorset? Oh, that's over here. Mm, off to jail. Count mm, Grandamet title. Count Morka's opinion is reduced. King Hakon's. Uh, I think we'll do this. Off to jail. And he's now imprisoned by Duchess Dagmar the Lame of the House Ulfeld. She is actually excommunicated as well. It's kind of unfortunate for her. But yeah, anyway, let's move on forward. Uh, we need to siege a lot more um, if we want to win this war here. So I think I'm just going to go forward. Um, and another siege. Oh, this is actually the city. All right, so we're actually, after we took over like this, um, the main holding, we're sieging much faster. And what's this? A betrothal between the French Revolt. Where is, oh wow, you are, you had like one county. That's not, no, that's not going to work out. Um, although she's actually winning by 28% somehow. Because the King of France only has 2,000 men. Mm, still, I don't think that's that's going to be a good match. So I'll decline that. Uh, we definitely have to find someone suitable for our two daughters. Ingrid has now come of age as well. But Joron is even, even better. Let's look at this. She's content, brave, strong. Damn, I love that. So, I mean, yeah, we definitely got to find someone for them. This one is shrewd. Okay, so we've got... Uh, yeah. She's the brains, basically. 16 years old. And then you are not quite as smart. Although your stats are five, about 35 combat skill. Damn. Damn. And Ranveld, at 7 years old, has 15 combat skill as well. That's <laughs> just kind of impressive. But yeah. Actually, I just realized our daughter is a better fighter than we are. Wow, okay. Anyway, moving on. I want to win this war with 53%. Is something... Uh, our capital is being besieged. Well, that's... That's always a problem. I'm thinking... Actually, well... Let's finish the siege, and then let's move home. Um, and perhaps we can end... We can end this... This siege in time. Probably not, we'll have to say. Anyways... There is the Kagan Kobiak. Mm, yeah, I don't think so. No, no. Okay, so we're going to get a lot of marriage offers for our daughter here. Um, yeah, I'm mostly going to have to decline them because they're not that amazing. I do wonder what's going to happen if they sack our capital, which they will likely do. I don't, I don't think I can prevent that, honestly. Um, if they are going to capture my daughters, that would be terrible. But yeah, our Chancellor approached us after the Council meeting to request some more diplomats to aid him in obtaining more information concerning the rumored artifact. Um, okay. 
we could have him make significant progress and lose general opinion for five years. Ah, uh, man. You know what? I kind of want to do this though because I've never, as I said, I've never actually found any artifacts. So, yeah, let's let's try and be successful this time. Okay, this siege has been successful as well. Very good. We'll just keep going. We'll just keep going. Taking some attrition here. Oh, we actually might make... Oh, no, we just... We're gonna just not make it, unfortunately. Alright, so a capital fell. It's not the first time. But at least we're going to... Well, no, we're not gonna capture them. Um, well, that sucks. But we'll catch them now, I think. Nope. Alright, we'll try. Alright, this time. Now they can't escape. Good. Alright, and we have made some progress here as well. I think we might have to build another fort. Yep, definitely. So let's do that. Hold on. Where do I do this again? Um, over here. There you go. 18 gold. I think that's definitely worth it. Very good. Okay, and there has been another Battle of Burgund where we killed 10 men for everyone we lost. That's actually really good. Okay, Madga of Volgast was captured. 18-year-old woman. Swollen ankle. Mm-hmm. She's a shield maiden, apparently. Okay. Well, she does have quite a lot of combat skill. So, now there is that. I'm not going to... I'm not going to pursue them. I'm actually going to uh, retake my cattle instead. It's a better course of action, I think. In fact, I'm just going to assault it, even. And then, I think I'm just going to stay here for a while. To maybe... Give the garrison some time to replenish. Okay, there's 50 men there now. Seems fine. And... I'm gonna go... I'm gonna just stay here for now, actually. I just don't want my capital to fall again. Okay, Sultan Ridwan has decided to abandon nomadic life and settle down in Transoxiana. Um... Okay. Is that is that all of his titles? It's uh okay, so this is it. It's kind of hard to see actually, because of the desert kind of thing. All right, well it's a pretty decent kingdom, pretty decent realm under his control. Not as strong as our realm, of course. And who's this? Sakala, Livonia. Who's? What are you guys doing? Who are you fighting? The Finnegans, the Danish king. Who has decided to declare a holy war right now. That's an interesting timing. While well, I'm at war with him as well. Alright. Anyway. What? How did he... Oh, so did he actually... Aw, oh, fuck. He actually did capture one of my daughters. I'm kind of annoyed that I didn't get, get a um, notification for that. But he did do it. Princess Yoren. Wait, isn't that my firstborn? Oh, so my firstborn is the concubine. Oh, man. Wait a minute. My wife is imprisoned as well? And my two oldest daughters. Oh, my God. All right. Well, I want her back. Damn. All right. Let's at least get Ingrid back. He'll pay for this for sure. Now, I wonder... Oh my god, I'm so pissed off right now. Okay, so at least we got one back. Oh no, he's defiling our daughter, Yorin. Uh, man. Now, I don't really... I mean, I guess 10 gold for my queen is good too. Um, And who else does he have imprisoned? Oh, but we have his own daughter imprisoned as well. I see. Um, okay. I, I wish that there was some kind of prisoner exchange. Because, you know, that would work quite well here. Oh, man. Okay, what can I do? Can I, can I assassinate him? Who's this? Oh, he could... Uh, okay, so he would pay for his own daughter. Now, he's homosexual. So that's kind of interesting. Hmm. Plot to kill is not going to work out. 
Is he leading troops here? He seems to be. Okay. Uh, once this falls, I'm going to engage his army and hope that we can capture him. There we go. What? Where's he going? He's going to Rana. Okay, let's go there too. And crush him. Hopefully we'll capture him. That would be amazing. Then I will uh, just execute him. And yes. Okay, now I could end the war right now, but I'm not going to. I will execute him. Immediately. Um, that is important because I didn't want my... I don't want my daughter to be pregnant or anything. She might... Like, I, I'm not sure if they had sex already. But... I will invite you back to my court. Um, and hopefully, you will not be defiled. Anyway, I just lost a thousand men. Let's go back here. We have the fort. And Yoron has returned. Good. Okay, now she does have a lover. But all of our family members are back. Okay. And we're at 92%. So as soon as we take another province here, we should be fine. Okay, we're protecting the capital. Um, Sweden has dealt with their rebellion. Okay, so we should win this soon. Oh, and apparently by executing this man, uh, Sweden and Denmark were freed. Alright, that's good news as well. Anyway, our incompetent steward has led smugglers into our county. Well, that's bad news. Okay, we need to replace you then. But there's no one better, apparently. Ugh. Well... Certainly sucks. Really, do I not have anyone better suited for this position? Apparently, I don't. Now, we can press the Kingdom of Sweden for our wife. Oh my goodness. I need to. But we need to finish this war first, stand down our troops, and then we can do that. Alright, we gotta be quick. Alright, 100%. Let's end the war. Very good. Let's get our troops home. Probably should have done that earlier. And stand him down and then we'll attack the young king of Sweden. So we can take that over for our wife. Alright, we're still taking attrition here. Could probably stand you guys down already. And these are just my retinue. Okay. And then we'll have to raise again. Alright, stand down. And re-raise our troops so we can declare the war on Sweden. Uh, immediately, yes. Go against the will of the council. Why are you against this? Zealot. You are a zealot. Favor from Duke Harold. Duke Harold of Essex. Our steward. Alright, so our steward that has led smugglers into our realm and now he's obstructing us. Uh, I think he needs to be replaced. Okay, so this chief will take over... As steward for now. Okay, very good. And now we should be able to declare the war. To claim Sweden. Perfect. Okay, so our wife should be the Queen of Sweden. Now what is the... Agnatic, it's Agnatic Agnatic Elective. Hmm. Uh, well, that is not ideal, to be honest. Because while we would... We would be the king. It's uncertain if our uh, children would take over. And why are you married? Oh, you're not at our court. I see. Even though you're quick. Hmm. Alright. Well, I'd rather have you not marry, to be honest. I'd do the same with my daughters. Alright, there we go. And my son is nine. Okay, well, either way, it doesn't matter. We're going to have to declare this war right now. I want to have control over Sweden. It was basically the whole point of this previous war as well. So that uh, the Wotrithians do not have control here. Now, you have a thousand gold. All right, well, you're definitely going to be called into this war. Yeah, for sure. And we will have to raise our own men as well. Good. Okay, I think we're going to get everyone together here. Seems to be the best course of action. Are you guys moving too? You are. All right, perfect. And then 
I'm not sure we really need the rest of these troops. I think I'm gonna keep the English... Yeah, I'll, I'll have them stand down. I don't think we need them. Same with all of you guys. I think the only ones I will actually take are the Norwegian... Uh, the Norman troops here. Uh, they have a few ships. And that's fine. And then it should be enough. Because I don't think Sweden has a whole lot of troops. You have 2,000 men. Yeah, okay. Very good. And we also have uh, Obertrithia helping us as well. So this should be fine. And they obviously have their rebellion going on too. So it's uh, totally cool. And I just don't really want to deal with the hassle of bringing over all of our English troops. But yeah, there's a battle. In the middle of battle, I catch sight of a girl wearing the same colors I am. I just... I just have time to notice the fierce expression on her face when she is struck down. I feel a pang of guilt, realizing how much she reminded me of my daughter, Yoren. Oh no, I hope it's not her. We must, remem we must remember to tend to our wounded, we become patient, or there is no time to take breaks for Norway charge. Now, I gotta be honest, um, I feel like we're gonna be patient, rather. Yeah, personal combat skill plus 5, all kinds of bonuses. This is not really given that many bonuses. This is actually much better. And also, it just fits our character way more. So, I'm going to have our character be patient here. And we just lost our daughter as well. She was captured last time. Um, so, yeah. I think that makes perfectly sense to be uh, more, well, more, I guess, empathetic here. Sympathetic, maybe. Anyway, uh, I'll try and hunt down the small army first, and the rest of you, I'll probably send here already, so that we can start sieging the capital of the Swedish king. Alright, so these troops will be destroyed, and I think we're going to deal with the rebellion too, just because... Um, they're going to like Legion rise up against our wife, so we want to destroy their troops too. Okay, Obertrithia is sending quite a lot of men, actually. It's kind of cool. Alright. I'll just let this tribal holding be besieged. Ingrid. Okay, we have 5,800 men. That seems sufficient. For sure. Okay, these four men might get killed. Oh well. Yeah, I mean, it happens. It's not that big of a deal. And now we can move on and destroy the uh, last remaining force. So it's 14%. And Ingegerd Stenkelen has been dragged. Oh, Queen Mother Asta of Sweden has been imprisoned. Okay, we have gotten the two daughters. The woman has been taken by Coleman. Uh, which is fine by me. I guess that's his spoil of war. I wonder if... I mean, he's four years old. He's not going to make her his concubine, right? I don't think he can. And she does have... Wait, why is she my courier? Hmm. She's lowborn. But with Ragnar Lodbrok's blood, you were definitely not lowborn. Ingolf, Toda, all lowborns. Okay, so he has one prize, basically. This duchess. The queen mother. Alright. Well, I guess she can keep it. We have... The daughter... Oh, wow, we have actually a lot of people. Madga. Ah, right. Now, I wonder, is this the same dynasty? It is. Okay. Mm, I guess... Oh, are you not being released? Ransom prisoner. Oh, he's not interested. I should have ransomed ransomed her to her father. We would have gotten gold for her. We can recruit her, though. Hmm. She's ambitious, but she is pretty good at intrigue. What is she... Um, She's unhappy because she's imprisoned, zealous. I recruit her. Can I force convert her? No. Let's do this. She should be happy about that. Short reign... Well, not really. She's just no longer in prison, so that's that. Demand religious conversion. No. Honorary title. Hmm. 
I would love it as a spy master, actually. Hmm. I, I, I'm I'm not quite sure what I will do with her. Twenty years old. Hmm. I don't know. We might. Hmm. I'm not quite certain what to do with her, to be honest. But yeah, anyways. Um, we have taken the Swedish capital. We have taken the rebel stronghold as well. And I think, yeah, now it's just kind of a matter of time until Sweden will be in the hands of our wife. 41 years old. She's unlikely to give us any more children, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I think that's that's actually pretty fine. I just I just really hope that our son will be able to inherit all of the kingdoms. It's kind of difficult because they're all um, elective. So an empire at that time would be really sweet. We'll have to see. But that was it for this episode. Today's video was brought to you by my glorious supporters over at Patreon. And right now, I just want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And before you leave, I'd love to have you subscribed so you can stay updated on all the new releases.